So we've managed to launch an activity from another activity using an explicit intent. I'm going to show you how to pass a message between two activities. But before we do that, there's something I forgot to do in the last tutorial. Let's fix that straight away. If you go into your package and expand it and open your about activity, when you've created an activity and you've created a layout, you have to reference that layout from within your activity. And uh, it worked anyway in the last tutorial, but I feel a lot more comfortable if we set content view and then we reference the layout file that uh, we created. Layout dot. And here it is. It's the activity about. Let's hit save. And just to show that that still works, I'm going to highlight app and hit play and use an existing emulator. Let's hit about. There you go. It works as expected. Let's jump straight into passing a message. We're going to display this message on our new about activity. And if you remember, in the layout file for the main activity, we had a text view. In our about activity, we could add, uh, we could type that in, in here and cut and paste it. But I want to show you how easy it is to drag and drop items. So we're going to take this plain text view and just drag it onto our about activity, and that's all you have to do. And if you take a look at the XML file, we now have. A text view generated for us. We're going to want to replace this text with our own text, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. And as with all objects in uh, Android, it needs a unique identifier. Android Studio has given us an I unique identifier here, but I'm going to change that a little. So it's uh, it's a text view, and I'm just going to call it activity about. This is the identifier of the text field we've just created, which will come in handy later. So, sending a message. Let's open up our original main activity, the activity that we're going to send a message or send data from. Looking at the action handler we have, here is the explicit intent. You can add extra information to explicit, well, to intents and it's easily done. So you take your intent and you just put extra. Again, Android Studio is auto-completing this for us. You have to name the data you're sending over, and I'm just going to give it a name, a key value, message. And this is where you type the actual message. Uh, hey, what's up? Did your, uh, did your, did my app make millions yet? Nice message, eh? One day, one day. So this, this message, this extra information is now pegged onto your intent. It's put on extra. And then the activity starts in the usual way. So it's start activity intent. And this, this is the data you've sent. Now, on the receiving end, if we go to About Activity, these extras are actually bundle objects. So we're going to have to create a, a bundle object. We'll call it Extras. And the incoming intent to this activity, we have to get a hold of it. And there exists a, a method. This uh, autocomplete from Android Studio is really doing all the programming for you. It, it makes life really easy. So here it is. It called get intent. So we're going to get intent from the intent. It also knows we want the extras. So now we have an, a bundle called extra with all of the extra information that's passed along with the intent. We now need to reference the text view in our XML file. 
So we know that's of type text, text view. I'm just going to call it TV, and it's uh, it's a text widget. So it's a text view, and how do you search for these objects? Well, you find view by ID. What was our ID? So resources ID dot text view, and you can see if we just we can scroll down and select our about activity text view. Now we've got a handle on this view. We can set the value of the text. We just type tv dot set text another member method, and we can set that to our extra extras bundle. And within that bundle, we want to get the string, get the string that's associated with the key value message. Was it message? Let's check. Yeah, message. And that's all you have to do. Let's save everything and, and just uh, test it. So we're going to select Highlight App, hit Play, select an existing device, and we're presented with the main activity of our application. We select the menu and then hit About. There you go. There is the message that our first activity sent to the second activity.